Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important current affairs of second week of may if you appreciate our efforts please share this video thank you and let's start the tp sigman and co international tournament is associated to which of the following sports right answer is chess so this tournament is associated to chess and it recently started in sweden Which Indian squash player has won the women's title at 2019 Asian Individual Squash Championship? Right answer is Joshna Chinappa. So Indian squash players Mr. Saurabh Ghoshal and Miss Joshna Chinappa won their respective Asian Individual Squash Championship title in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Duti Krishna Panda who passed away recently was the veteran politician of which party right answer is cpi so duti krishna panda was the veteran cpi leader and former lok sabha member and has passed away recently in bhuneshwar in odisha what is the theme of indian pavilion at 58th venice biennial 2019 right answer is 150 years of mahatma gandhi so the theme at 58th BNS event was our time for future caring and India has decided to showcase father of nation Mahatma Gandhi to ensure a memorable show the Indian pavilion is curated by Kiran Nadar Museum of Art and it is commissioned by National Gallery of Modern Art which IIT has tied up with e governance services India limited to upscale Unnat Bharat Abhiyan right answer is IIT Kanpur so recently IIT Kanpur has tied up with e governance services india limited to upscale unnat bharat abhiyan which space agency has revealed that giant asteroid 9942 apophis is expected to fly close to earth in a decade right answer is nasa so as per latest data from nasa The giant asteroid named 9942 Apophis is expected to approach dangerously close to Earth in 2029, which Indian journalist has won 2018 ACJ award for investigative journalism in print or online category. Right answer is Miss Nilima MS, so journalist Miss Nilima MS, who is a reporting fellow with the Karma has won the prestigious ACJ award for investigative journalism INS Vela which is launched under Indian Navy's project 75 is the joint venture of India and which of the following countries right answer is France so the fourth of Indian Navy's stealth scorpion class submarine of project 75 INS Vela has been recently launched project 75 is a joint venture of India and France Bandana who set new Guinness world record on longest dancing marathon by an individual is from which country right answer is Nepal so miss Bandana is from Nepal and she has set a new Guinness world record on longest dancing marathon by an individual by dancing continuously for 126 hours which country is the current chair of 2019 G7 summit right answer is France so France is the current chair of 2019 G7 summit India is officially invited to the G7 summit the summit will be in France in August 2019 what is the theme of 2019 world asthma day right answer is stop for asthma so every year on first tuesday of may world asthma day is celebrated to spread awareness about asthma and the theme of this year asthma day was stop for asthma who of the following indians are among 115 un personnel staff honored for sacrifice in the line of duty right answer is mr jitendra kumar and miss sikha garg so two indians an indian police officer mr jitendra kumar deployed to un mission in congo and a consultant miss sikha garg with the un development program killed in ethiopian airlines plane crash 
are among 115 UN peacekeepers and staff honored by the United Nations for their sacrifice. Griha for existing day schools which is in news is associated to which of the following issues? Right answer is environment. So to evaluate the environmental performance of existing schools across India, Griha Council has recently released a rating tool Griha for existing day schools. INS Ranjit which is recently decommissioned by Indian Navy was built by which of the following countries? Right answer is USSR. So INS Ranjit has recently decommissioned after serving the Indian Navy for 36 years. INS Ranjit is a Kashin class destroyers and it has been built by erstwhile USSR and it was commissioned in 1983. Who has been elected as new president of Panama? Right answer is Laurentino Cortizo. So Mr. Laurentino Cortizo has been declared the winner of 2019 presidential elections of Panama. Who has been sworn in as new chief justice of Chhattisgarh High Court? Right answer is Mr. P. R. Ramchandra Menon. So Justice P. R. Ramchandra Menon has been sworn in as new Chief Justice of Chhattisgarh High Court. Chhattisgarh Governor Ms. Anandibain Patel administered the oath of office and secrecy. Who has been appointed as new coach of Indian Volleyball team? Right answer is Mr. Dragon Mihailovic. So Mr. Dragon Mihailovic from Serbia has been recently appointed as the head coach of Indian volleyball team. Who has been bestowed with 2019 VK Krishna Menon award? Right answer is G. D. Robert Govinder. So G. D. Robert Govinder, an Indian origin journalist in South Africa, has been honored with 2019 VK Krishna Menon award for outstanding contribution in journalism. The book Game Changer is the autobiography of which of the following cricketers? Right answer is Sahid Afridi. So it is the autobiography of Mr. Afridi. Which Indian personality has been elected as member of International Narcotics Control Board? Right answer is Jagjit Pawadia. So recently Ms. Jagjit Pawadia has been re-elected to the International Narcotics Control Board, Ms. Pawadia has been a member of International Narcotics Control Board since 2015 and this is her second term. If we talk about INCB, it was established in 1968 and it implements the United Nations International Drug Control Conventions. What is the theme of 2019 edition of World Red Cross Day? Right answer is hashtag love. So World Red Cross Day is observed every year on 8th of May. 8th of May is special as it is the birth anniversary of Mr. Henry Dunant. He was the founder of International Committee of Red Cross and he was the recipient of first Nobel Peace Prize. So on 8th of May, World Red Cross Day is celebrated and the theme of this year was hashtag love. Which of the following countries are the members of Intergovernmental Forum, Arctic Council. Right answer is Russia, Sweden and USA. So recently, Arctic Council was in news as India has been re-elected as an observer to Arctic Council during the ministerial meeting of Arctic Council in Finland. The Desert Storm 2019 has started from which city of Rajasthan? Right answer is Bikanir. So the cross-country rally Desert Storm 2019 started from Bikanir in Rajasthan. India's first natural ice cafe is located in which of the following states? Right answer is Jammu and Kashmir. So India's first natural ice cafe has started in Leh in Ladakh. The cafe is located on Manali Leh Highway. Which country's privately developed rocket Momo 3 reached outer space? Right answer is Japan. So Japanese aerospace startup Interstellar Technology 
has become the first private firm in Japan to launch a rocket in space and the name of rocket is Momo 3. Dr. N. R. Madhav Menon, the father of modern Indian legal education has passed away. He was from which state? Right answer is Kerala. So Dr. Madhav Menon recently passed away. He is considered as the father of modern Indian legal education. What is the theme of 2019 edition of World Thalassemia Day? Right answer is Universal Access to Quality Thalassemia Healthcare Services. So every year on 8th of May, World Thalassemia Day is observed to raise awareness about the disease. And the theme of this year was Universal Access to Quality Thalassemia Healthcare Services. The researchers at which institute has found a novel function for stress buster serotonin to treat neurological decline. Right answer is TIFR Mumbai that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Mumbai have found a novel function for serotonin to treat neurological decline. Pakkamalai Reserve Forest is located in which state? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. So it is located in Tamil Nadu and recently researchers have sighted nest of grizzled giant squirrel at Pakkamalai Reserve Forest. Which of the following golfers has been honored with 2019 US Presidential Medal of Freedom? Right answer is Mr. Tiger Woods. So recently US President Mr. Donald Trump bestowed Mr. Tiger Woods with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the team of scientists at CSIR has recently carried out first ever genetic studies on people of which of the following islands? Right answer is Lakshadweep. So recently, the team of scientists at CSIR, CCMB, that is Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, carried out first ever genetic studies on the people of Lakshadweep Islands. The team was led by Dr. K. Thangraj. What is the theme of 2019 edition of UN Global Road Safety Week? Right answer is Leadership for Road Safety. Recently, the 5th edition of United Nations Global Road Safety Week has started and the theme was Leadership for Road Safety. Which Indian filmmaker will direct a film on the life of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman? Right answer is Mr. Sham Benegal. So India and Bangladesh will jointly produce a film on the life of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He was the founding father of Bangladesh. Mrinal Mukherjee who passed away recently was a renowned actor of which regional cinema? Right answer is Bengali. So Mr. Mrinal Mukherjee was a veteran TV actor and he passed away recently in Kolkata. Badenath Misra, who passed away recently, was renowned personality of which field? Right answer is economy. So, renowned economist Mr. Badenath Misra passed away recently. Where is the headquarters of IPBES, that is Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services? Right answer is Bonn. So, recently, a report titled IPBES. Global Assessment has been released by IPBES. As per this report, around 1 million animal and plant species are now threatened with extinction. Which Indian city is hosting the World Customs Organization Regional Custom Heads Meeting? Right answer is Kochi. So the meeting of Regional Heads of Customs Administration of Asia Pacific, Asia Pacific Region of World Customs Organization is being organized by CBIC. CBIC stands for Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. This meeting held in Kochi. Which union ministry has recently decided to discard its blacklist of Indian origin people? Right answer is MHA that is Ministry of Home Affairs. So recently MHA has decided to discard its blacklist of Indian origin people who have taken the asylum abroad under the plea of alleged persecution in India. The 2019 Brahma Lakshotsav 
festival has started in which of the following states right answer is karnataka so recently brahma lakshotsav has started in karnataka which indian personality has been appointed as new sdg advocate of united nations right answer is diya mirza so recently united nations appointed 17 global personalities including indian actress ms diya mirza as the new advocates to drive action for sustainable development goals thopil mohammad miran who passed away recently was the renowned novelist of which language right answer is tamil so mr thopil mohammad miran who passed away recently was well known tamil novelist and sahitya academy awardi which well known actor has written the novel dopahari right answer is mr pankaj kapoor so waiter and actor mr pankaj kapoor will soon release his debut novel dopahari it is based on the play of same name which he wrote and directed few years ago jcpoa that is joint comprehensive plan of action is associated to which of the following countries right answer is all of the above so iran has recently announced to stop adhering to the 2015 nuclear deal until they find a way to bypass us sanctions on iran which indian judge has been appointed as a member of commonwealth secretariat arbitral tribunal right answer is mr k s radhakrishnan so justice k s radhakrishnan so retired justice k s radhakrishnan has been appointed as member of csat in london he has been appointed for 4 years india's first upi bahi khata for merchants has been launched by which fintech startup company right answer is bharat pay so recently fintech startup company bharat pay has launched india's first upi bahi khata for merchants if we talk about fintech fintech means providing financial services with the help of technology india's newest pit viper has recently found in which of the following states right answer is arunachal pradesh so india's newest pit viper has recently found in arunachal pradesh it is a reddish brown pit viper it is a venomous snake with unique heat sensing system it was found in arunachal pradesh who has been elected as vice president of geneva based international motorcycle manufacturers association right answer is mr rakesh sharma so bajaj auto executive director mr rakesh sharma has been elected as vice president of imma the headquarter of imma is in geneva and mr rakesh sharma has been elected as vice president in a meeting in indonesia which company has launched the world's highest resolution image sensor for smartphones right answer is samsung so recently samsung electronics has launched world's highest resolution image sensor for smartphones at 64 megapixels which of the following countries participated in naval exercise group sail in disputed south china sea right answer is japan philippines and india recently ins kolkata and ins sakti participated in group sail exercise with the naval ships of japan philippines and usa this exercise was conducted in disputed south china sea which indian company has become the official sponsor of afghanistan cricket team for the 2019 icc world cup right answer is amul so india's dairy major amul will be the principal sponsor of afghanistan cricket team for 2019 icc world cup it will be hosted by england and wales which of the following countries has officially become the second country in world to declare a climate emergency right answer is ireland so recently ireland has become the second country in world to declare climate and biodiversity emergency on which date the 2019 edition of national technology day is celebrated right answer is 11th of may so every year on 11th of may national technology day is celebrated this day is special 
as on this day in 1998 india successfully conducted pokhran test these tests were conducted under the leadership of former president dr apj abdul kalam who was the then drdo chief yc deveshwar who passed away recently was the noted industry leader of which company right answer is itc so mr deveshwar was the chairman of itc he passed away recently he was india's longest serving ceo and he had received padma bhushan in 2011 which indian armed force has decided to observe 2019 as year of next of kin right answer is indian army so indian army has decided to commemorate 2019 as year of next of kin professor kirpal singh who passed away recently was a renowned personality in which field right answer is history so professor kirpal singh the renowned sikh historian has passed away recently the supreme court has recently upheld validity of which state government's law for reservation in promotion and seniority to sc and st employees right answer is karnataka so recently supreme court has upheld the constitutional validity of karnataka's law for reservation in promotion and seniority to sc and st employees what is the theme of 2019 edition of world migratory bird day right answer is protect birds be the solution to plastic pollution so every year on 11th of may the world migratory bird day is celebrated to raise awareness of the issues affecting migratory birds and the theme of this year was protect birds be the solution to plastic pollution who has partnered with international food and beverage alliance to eliminate industrial trans fat by which year right answer is 2023 so recently who has partnered with international food and beverage alliance to achieve its target under replace initiative the objective of replace initiative is to eliminate industrial trans fat from industrially produced global food supply by 2023 where is the headquarters of konkan railway corporation limited right answer is navi mumbai so the headquarter of konkan railway corporation limited is in navi mumbai recently krcl was in news as it has signed a contract agreement with nepal's department of railway to supply two train sets so these were the most important current affairs of second week of may thank you and that's all for the day